Hello everybody, welcome to Good News, and today you probably, was, I wouldn't quite call it Good News this time actually, because Watch Dogs 2 has been announced to be released by April 2017, so Assassin's Creed will be skipping a year, but they announced that Watch Dogs 2 will be released alongside For Honor, South Park, and Tom Clancy's Wildlands, so they'll all be released in the next year by April 2017, and that means we're getting a trip back to Chicago quicker than we thought we would, but not many people are going to be really excited about this just simply because of the letdown from the original Watch Dogs game, the driving, and there was a few other things that people pointed out which they really didn't enjoy. The look of the game, the way it felt, the way it played just really disappointed most people, so they managed to sort out number two and bring back the series, but I think... It's a lot harder to fix what you've broken than it is to prove yourself again. That doesn't make much sense, but it, it, it kind of does, I don't know. But I don't know if this was meant to be properly like announced yet, but I think they accidentally done it. Let's move on to the next part of the news. So Quantum Break has been announced, and everyone's getting really excited for it because it is coming out on PC. But there's one thing which can come good from this, along with the game being released, of course. You don't need as good specs as you, need, as you think. Uh, so everyone was really... When this game was released, they thought this game was going to need a lot of specs, like a really high-made PC, like really expensive and all that kind of stuff. But you don't. You only need 16 gigabyte of RAM and an i5 processor, which isn't too bad. And it means most people are going to be able to play this game on quite decent settings, so medium. And then obviously, with the people with the higher-end PCs, can play on ultra and that kind of stuff. But Quantum Break. This game's amazing, so now you can also cross-save, because if you buy this on Xbox One, you will get the digital free version on PC. Absolutely free. All you've got to do is buy it on Xbox One. So if you've got an Xbox One, and you can run this on PC, then you're going to have two copies, just for the fun of it. So Resident Evil 5's multiplayer shootout, shootout? shooter will be released in May for PC and PS4, but now you can also shoot yourself on the map Kujuju, which is in Resident Evil 5. So... It's uh, one of the biggest locations on the, in the game, and it will feature a wide variety of open areas and tight underground passages. And Resident Evil 5's Kujuju it was in an African city which was decimated by the parasites, and they turned every human or their hosts into zombie-like monsters. So what you're going to have to do is kill the monsters and the players, because every single multiplayer map in this game will have monsters to deal with along with enemy players. So, so far the maps that have been announced for Resident Evil 5 or Village and Tricell HQ. You can also find out a lot more information about this game on the GameSpot website, which I really do advise you go and check out if you like Resident Evil. And the last bit of information for today's news episode will be that Rocket Lee's Warthog for Halo will be released anytime soon and we've had the first image of it released which you can see on the screen right now so I play quite a lot of Rocket Lee with my mates but I haven't played any Halo really but this looks kind of cool, it's got like a minigun on top, who doesn't want a minigun on top of their car and it looks like quite a big car, like quite long so you're going to be able to hit quite a few shots of it when you play because you're going to be able to use your bum to hit that ball, I know but this does look quite good, it's a new car, who doesn't like a new car in Rocket League because they've got so many different cars which they can add to this game and they probably will because it's a really good place and a really good opportunity to earn a lot of money through DLC. So thank you for watching today's news episode and if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.